Hi everybody, I'm Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I'm here with Natalie. Hi everybody. It is Friday of our birthday week and we have been having a grand time. We've worn beads, birthday, we've worn yes. hats. It's our birthday. Yes. I think I should wear this right oh, now. I need to do this. I don't even know there who we this go. is. Happy birthday to Missouri Star. Yay! You guys, I have the best quilt for you today. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Now this is fun for so many reasons. First of all, I've staggered the candles up and down, which give it movement, but this is a celebration quilt. So you literally could put birthday or anything you want up here with the letters. We of course have celebrate, but think about if like you wrote the date, you're, you know, like your person's name and a date on whatever candle was their birthday and you hung that quilt, on that day for that birthday. It could be almost like a family. It could be fun to have everybody's birthdays right? on the quilt though. Right? Yes. Like, I think so too. Oh, I think so too. <laughs> we are surrounded by happy birthday things up here. So joyful. All right, so let's talk about this quilt. It's called the Celebration Quilt. And um, the fabric line is Rainbow Celebration Batiks by Island Batiks. And while I did use uh, this fabulous layer cake right here. It's so pretty. Today's daily deal, which will work as well, is the rainbow, um, what is this called? Roll strips. Two and a half inch strips. Two and a half inch strips, my mind went blank. So uh, that is the daily deal today. So you guys need to know that. So to make my quilt, you're gonna need one layer cake of uh, color, and we use the, the Rainbow Celebration Batiks by Island Batik. You're gonna need a packet of um, solids, whatever you decide to use for your background. I used black. It would be pretty and with white. Too, it would be very pretty with white. Whatever, or, yeah, whatever you want to choose. Or yellow or pink. Any background color, right. obviously, would be so cute. And this actually is, um, a, you know, a layer cake is about three yards. So if you want to just buy yardage, you can do that as well. So I have some additional background yardage, two and a half yards, and that takes care of my inner border here and this big piece that the Celebrate letters sit on. Yeah, and there's some sashing strips in between. There the are rows. sashing strips in between each row and all around. So that takes care of that. This is our border. Yep. and our backing and our binding. And so the border is one and a quarter yards. The backing is five yards or two and a half yards of 108. But let me show you this back. It's so pretty. I love it. it that it's just happy. Like, like rainbow sprinkles. It does, like little sprinkles from a, from a cake. Now the, the quilting pattern that we used on here um, is called sticky buns. Mm -hmm. And I love it because it's just swirly and round, but we used kind of a rose goldish color thread on here. It's and really it's just, pretty. it's really pretty. I love that it shows up a little bit. You're also, for your flames, we have the little mini peel template. Yes, and and for those little flames, you'll need some- um, You will, some MSC adhesive. MSC So Light Adhesive, and this dispenser is my favorite thing because you can keep your adhesive wow. tidy and just cut off the little amount you need. Yes, and this comes with so saran cute. wrap. So when you use your saran wrap up, you just put your roll of adhesive light in here and you're you just- you can just put that in a cupboard and put your adhesive in. <laughs> yeah. You can just put the saran wrap away and yeah. just use the box. Anyway, so let me show you how to make this. So Natalie, we're gonna clear all this off. Okay. And then, oh, our beads. That. We had a parade yesterday, you guys. It was so much fun. Mom's always wanted to be the I know. What is, wait, what are they called? The Grand that? Marshal. The Grand Marshal of the parade. I, I have my own parade. I was just so excited. So excited. So do you need your Here's our pattern. Probably this pattern is available to you. Anymore. What, what supplies it's do you one need? of our mics having problems. Do we need to switch something out? What shall oh, I do? Natalie's. Let's just do it. Let's put this okay. real quick for you. Yeah. You guys no get to see what up. really happens. Well, here. It'll take two seconds. All right, and I am going to, while you guys are doing the switch o change -o, Thank you. Presto. I'm gonna come over here and grab some of these things. Is this better? We want you to be able to hear us, so we'll make the change if we need to. Do we need to turn it on? Just he needs you to talk. There. All right, you good? I don't know yet. Hello, oh, hello, okay. hello. <laughs> yep, Greg says yes. All right. Excellent. So what I need is, oh, I put it over here. Oh, wow, these are on cardstock. That's pretty nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna pull a couple out of these. Wait for it. Yep, the first one go. is stuck to the sticky label. It is stuck <laughs> to the label, which is handy, but also, you know, not so pretty at this moment. Not for, yeah, not great right for a live video. It's, no, it's all right. It's cool. We're fine. We're fine, we're all fine. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut these directly in half. And I want to show you how I did this because this is so fun, uh, clever if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see it. I often get to see the quilt finished. Mm -hmm. And I do see you working on it, but I don't always pay attention to how things are being done. And so it's always like, oh, that's cool how that's that worked fun. out. So the flames, I actually went through this pack and pulled out the yellows, you know, uh, that I thought I could use as flames that would make that, you know, just just give it that kind of fire look. And so there's a couple of it's different really prints cool. on here. And to be honest, I probably pulled three or four. Yes, um, it's about four pieces. So mm -hmm. if you have a different layer cake, you can just you can use a solid or whatever, or, or you yeah. know, do red flames or whatever. Well, I, you know, there's whatever blue color fire flames. too. Blue fire, all kinds of red, fire. orange, any of those pretty. Anyway, so I pulled those colors. aside for my flames. Yep. And I took my ten inch square and cut it in half, so I have two five by ten inch pieces. Okay. And then I'm going to take a layer cake, and I'm going to sew this square, this half square, to the top of it. Okay. Do you all want right? me to sew, or do you? Do you want you know to sew what? and I'll cut and I'm press? I'm just going to sew. Okay, cool. And actually, if you want to iron this, this is our, our I will do it. heat and bond. Wait, it's not heat and bond. Sticky, what's it called? So light adhesive. Thank you. <laughs> so light adhesive. So light fusible adhesive. I'm so glad it's I so have It's so fancy. Her <laughs> so fancy. <clears throat> All right, we're just going to sew the top of this down, quarter of an inch. The machine sounds a little funky. It Is it working? It sounds very, yeah. No. Mm -mm. no it's okay. not threaded right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the blessings of life. All right, hang on. Cool. I got you. You know, everybody has that sometimes where they start sewing thinking everything's going to be smooth and they're like, oh, some reason my bobbin's not in correctly. So just or... so you guys know, if you have tension troubles on your machine, literally it's probably the threading. Yeah, take and everything so, out and start over. Yeah, just take out and start over. Your your bobbin could be in backwards or your thread slipped out of the tension loop or something like that. Yeah. So let's see if this will go now. All right. Still sounds kind of knocky. It me? sounds a little bit like a machine gun, but that's all right. I wonder if something's just loose. Maybe like tight. You up. if you'll iron that back, okay. I'm going to check my bobbin right now. Oh, it's a real bobbin. Metal. I mean, yeah. I usually use the pre-wounds, and this is like the real one that goes with the machine. The machine must feel wow. very special. All right. I think we are good to go at this point. Yeah, the stitch looks good. All right. That's what we need. Cool. Sorry. Okay. So now what I decided to do with this is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to cut them into two and a half inch strips. They're all the same width wide, which you could totally change. Um, but mine are all two and a half. And so I'm going to cut them. You should be able to get, um, what, four or five, two and a halves out of a 10 inch square. Oh, for some reason, I think it's five. It's four. It's four. Four. Yeah. I don't know. It's morning math. Five times two is ten, but it's it's got half inches and seams and all there we those go. No, nope. lovely. We, we got four here. Four. All right. I can't do math under pressure. <laughs> None of us can. <laughs> okay. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to take our little template okay. and we are gonna draw around uh, this little template. And you actually only need to you draw it, it one time. And because I draw, I draw it like this, and then I kind of accordion pleat my paper so that I'm, I'm like folding, you know, I'm cutting a bunch at the same time. That's smart. And so I don't have to like sit and cut tons of little tiny ones. Yeah. So then I'll just go around here with our super duper fabulous new scissors. What's their name again? I know that Rotary Cutter is Olga. I love that we named them, but I can't remember. <laughs> name? Amelia. Amelia. She's the big sister. She's a real yeah, cut are, Well, these are great scissors. They're <laughs> lightweight, like but they're also heavy duty. They just work so good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to iron these on to the top of my candles like this. 
Shall I pull the backing off for you? Yeah, or you can iron or I, on. I can do either, both. Let's just iron a few of these on, and then you can straight stitch around them. You can do, do any you want it applique to touch, stitch you want. Do you want it to touch the color? I or did kind of touch. Have it above. I have it like right barely at the color. Okay. I wanted it to feel like it was really connected to the candle. You know, there's so much of quilting that's personal. Yeah, uh, just and what you, can you do how you want it to look. How, yeah, how you want it to look. All right, so on this right here, you're just going to stitch around this. And you want to stitch around these before you get them a whole big quilt put together. So stitch around them. I have some that are zigzagged. I have some that are, uh, you know, here's some of the lighter ones. Nice. You know? I like the color variations. Yeah, well, I think it makes it's the flames pretty. come alive. But I think what really makes this quilt dance like a dance party on your birthday is... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've had some dance parties here at Hamilton, haven't Just we? Just a few. Anyway, what really makes them dance is that they're at different heights, and it gives them so much movement. Okay. So here's how I did that. So we've got our flames on. They're sewn down. And these... You're going to leave these all the same size, but they have to be, they, we want them to end up 12 inches. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a few of these and show you how I did this. So I'm going to line them, I'm going to line them all up and I'm going to know where 12 inches falls on my board. So, um, so here's for, wait, let's get a different color. Oh, I've got one with no candle top. All right, all right. I Put can... that candle top on that orange one. I, I went, can do oh. it. Oh, here's an orange, but it's already cut. Oh, here's one. Nope, I got it. Stop where you are. Stop where you are. All right. So I'm going to start because the numbers are random here. You know, I'm going to start with uh, here, 24. Use your ruler. You can leave them where you are. I know, but wait. And you then have you to can watch just say happen. 12 and a half is this many. So then you is can. Is it 12 and a half? Well, whatever you look just in, said, look I don't in the, know. <laughs> look in the pattern and see. Is it 12, going, are these 12 and a half or 12? I was going by your... I thought these were 12. But I'm 12. Okay. So, yep. uh, so what we're going to do with these is these are going to be 12. So we're going to cut them all differently. They just have to end up 12. So this one, like I'll put my 12 right here at the top of this. And then I'll just cut off this little piece right here like this. And then I'm going to flip this around. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put it on 12 this way. 12. And I'll cut off this little top part right here. So as long as you don't cut into the flame, then you're, yeah. you have that top part. So this part. one I'm going to start. I'm going to start. I'm going to leave the whole top part up. And I'm going to put my 12 here and cut a little chunk off of here. And so they all stay 12. But as you put them together... There are different heights. And so one of the things that you'll notice is that as we're doing these, if it's even just a quarter inch difference, it's, it still makes all the difference. So I cut a little chunk off and then I'm going to, I'm going to turn this around so I can see the 12 right here. And then I'll cut a little chunk off down here and see these little pieces that I'm cutting off are all different sizes. But we're, when we line them up, they're all going to be 12 and that's what matters is that they're all the same. That's pretty cool. I feel like this would work really well for one of those bookshelf quilts too. It really it totally does. It's actually the same kind of way that I did it for the bookshelf. That's awesome. what gave me the idea. Very cool. Right? I like it. All right so we're going here to the 12 just like that. All right so that's how we stagger these. Look how cool that looks. So we're going to line them all up. They're all 12. Nice. And it's like it's so cute. That now, in between cool. them, because I wanted to give them their own burning space, I put a little inch and a half strip. And so basically, when you get your candles done, you can literally just lay them on your strip like this. And we'll just add, we'll just sew one down. We're going to add them all to the, uh, let's see, to the right side. So I'm going to flip these around. And it is one and a half inch strip, right? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Hard to remember all those measurements when you're doing and teaching and and you can just add another and add another but you want to make sure that you put them on going the same direction so that your sashing stays on the right side on the yeah the right actually the right and the right side of the candle she's so right i'm so right <laughs> all right well anyway we can keep going on this all day because i do love chain piecing oh. but i will let you and if you're sewing with a black background, you probably want to use black thread. I'm just saying. 
I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you, but uh, it will hide better. We do it. You we really keep it light on here so you can see it. Well, you only have to worry to, about it if your um, stitch is kind of bad, really. Yeah. Because you can't see it through. Yeah. All right. So Anyways. then what we're going to do on that one. Okay. Is we're just going to start sewing these together in a row. We're going to make one long row of them. And uh, so, you know, they'll come together like this. Every candle will have a little sashing strip on it. And we're just going to sew the whole row. So let's look at how many we have in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now there was never a plan for how many to put in a row. I just put in a row until I used up all my candles and then I made another row and another row. Of course, we have it all written out for you in a pattern, which makes it super handy. Yep. Then we have a two and a half inch strip underneath here. It doesn't have to line up or match with anything. It's just that inner sashing. And then we have the two and a half around but the celebrate up here so this is a is it 13 inches mm -hmm. it's a 13 inch by width of fabric and we had to cut two of those because it wasn't quite wide enough and so then i just saved out the letters for my word you know that i wanted to write so i saved out enough of these um you know colors whatever colors i decided that i wanted mm -hmm. you have to kind of save those out now you can get like if you put the c on here you could get one candle out here you know so if you wanted to be really efficient uh that would work as well but i just traced around the letters onto my heat and bond see when you put your heat and bond in here i'm sorry it's not heat and bond what is it so light adhesive so light adhesive i keep forgetting that you know we tend to call oh, things did like, you did your roll it just run out it just ran out yeah anyway we tend to you know like we say kleenex and that's not the name of everybody's kleenex or we say jelly right. roll and that it's not what every company calls yeah them. but it's great branding by that company it is great brand so we all company. remember it so tell me what this is called again so light. so light adhesive it's missouri star so light adhesive we came out with our own mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway you can see that you can see the letter through this Keenan, can they see that all right yeah. so you can see the letter mm -hmm. Uh, through this so you just trace and it. they're already backwards so yes. when you trace it it comes out going the way that it's supposed to go when mm -hmm. you, or it's because then you iron it onto whatever. your fabric and then because then it's you on the back it, and then you flip it around gone. and you want it to mm -hmm. be right it's already going the right so way so it's probably facing the right way you trace it then it's backwards then you whatever i don't it know it definitely is because this is the way the c goes and that's backwards but it, see that's yeah. right perfect it's perfect because you want to start out when you do a when you do any kind of applique you want them to be backwards to begin with so that when you put them on here should we just do one yes let's just do one we absolutely. have absolutely all right we got this pen here all right so i'm going to put this underneath and we'll put it on the edge you go ahead and draw i feel like i should uh um, help you help me how I don't know but I'm holding this down maybe if you just whisper nice things about me in my ear tell me I'm doing a good job you're doing a good job oh Matt. thank you <laughs> <laughs> anyway this will help you guys who um, you know any of us who are angrily challenged the reverse letter thing is always a bit of a challenge okay. because you're like is it are we sure there you go and then turns out it was right okay all right don't cut it out at this point you nope. want to iron it onto your fabric before you do your final cut and that's actually really important to know you know a lot of times we will go ahead and cut the letter out don't do it just draw it on and then iron it to your fabric because for some reason cutting through a uh, paper on fabric is really easy but when you just have the fabric it's like you're a little bit more nervous, so I well, like to do it, it. It just makes a cleaner cut. Now, the cool thing about these is it doesn't matter which side you iron it to. Mm -hmm. There's no wrong side. So Natalie, If your fabric does have a side, though, you iron it to the wrong side. Yes, to, to the, the back. Definitely to the back. We're a little messy out here. We're getting a little bit of a mess. Crafting is messy business. It's what we do. All right. So now we're just going to cut this out. And don't worry if your lines aren't perfectly straight when you draw them you can always clean that up with your scissors <laughs> yes you certainly can or vice versa exactly well no <laughs> pretty much just the scissors work just the scissors drawing on the back isn't going to change how the front looks <laughs> that's true <laughs> all right
right. Are we? What You're time are we at, good you guys? Job. You're doing a really good job. What time are we at? Because I got I got to go meet people in the theater. We're doing great. We do have a couple questions coming. Hi, in Hi, theater online. people. Hi. <laughs> They're over there watching this. Yeah. So I, Amy Dement asks: In 15 years of business and sharing quilting, what are you most proud of? Oh, oh, I'm most proud of the people and how far they've come and that so many people have learned to quilt and not stressed over the perfection part. I'm also super proud of how we've been able to help and care for our employees. That makes me super happy. And I love that we have a town that's devoted mm -hmm. this, that we actually, you know, those buildings were going away, they were dying, they were falling in, and we actually fix them so they will live another hundred years. Yeah. I'm super, you know, there's so many things. I love the, right. the way that our family has sort of bonded together and our relationships are super strong. But um, I love the way that we've been able to sort of give our customers validation in their craft that they're they're capable and they're smart and they're inspiring and giving and you know kind of yeah it's a way it's sort of like um i don't know like we all just build each other up mm -hmm. and it it really feels like that in the quilting community like we're just this team of women empowering women I know, yes. and like i love that i love that it's just so not that there aren't any men quilters because there are well there are but, but they're also <laughs> empowered by this by they what are. we do by they us are. being able to mm -hmm. teach you know, and say, you can do this. You are creative. You are smart and strong and capable. And that's what I feel is, is something that I'm proud of for, from our company's 100%. perspective. When people come up and tell me things that we've done that have affected them mm -hmm. or how they've, how they've felt based on what we've done, like that just feels so great. I just Oh my love gosh, it. yesterday we were just surrounded with laughter and hugs joy. and love and pure joy. And, you know, it's just some so tears, but it's, it's all it, they're good. good tears. It's all yeah. so great. All right. So here's our C okay. for celebrate, and it came out going the right direction. And that would go on a larger piece of black fabric right, because on the we whole. have this long strip. Mm -hmm. You're going to sew it and together. It's, it's pieced, right? Yeah, Is there's a strip piece yes, somewhere. Yes. yes, somewhere it's pieced. It wasn't quite long enough side to side. Yeah, if, and, it's, uh, if it's larger than 40 feet four inches, you're going to have to piece it, which is fine. And I did that have some candles left over, so you can actually make this bigger. It would be really cute table yeah. runner, too. It'd be a darling And you could alternate runner. them yeah. so, like, the candles go in or out. That would be cute. That would be really cute. We should mm -hmm. do we a should bonus do project. A bonus project. I love it. All right. Do we have any more questions? Yes, Any other we do. things we want to address? So we're, we're working with batiks today, um, but we also have a question about what are your favorite kind of fabrics and genre of fabrics to play with? Mm. Mm. We, ha we love so many of them. They're, yeah, I, them I mean, it's kind of like picking a favorite child. Well, and sometimes the for child me, might be easy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't sometimes tell my kids. for me, I'll get fabric to sew on, and it will be. Um, I will think, hmm, I'm not sure about this. And then I make it into a quilt. Like I just finished one this morning yeah. and it was like, wait, what? This is beautiful, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it always surprises me. So, um, and and we, I don't really make quilts much for myself anymore. Yeah. Uh, I mean, every once in a while, I just made a little acorn uh, wall hanging. That's um, so cute. Yeah. Out of Renee Nanaman fabric. And it's just darling because it's just kind of fallish. Mm -hmm. But um, usually I'm making something for one of the grands, you know, and or holiday. And so then the fabric is determined already. You know, well, it's like, yeah, but there's nothing he wants better red, than, he wants green, than searching know. out something for someone who loves a thing. Like, you know, if your mm -hmm. child loves Pokemon or Barbie or whatever it is, like it's true. being able to find that that perfect that thing perfect that's going to make their yeah. face light up. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. I tend to go for like the moodier, large florals, like Anna Maria Horner mm -hmm. or um, Tilda. Yeah, like so beautiful. I guess oh my Tilda's gosh, fabric's that Tilda not really birthday large. Cake it's yesterday. more, more calico-y or like Liberty <gasps> Prince. Mean, all the cakes were gorgeous, but hers was topped with an actual tuffet, a real tuffet. I know, and I've been wanting to like make one of those for like 10 tuffet. years, but I'm scared to death because it just seems like so much work. <laughs> the Dome Girls need a tuffet class. We do. <laughs> Apparently, do. that's coming up all now. All right, so let's talk about this a little more. We have one, two, three, four rows of candles, obviously. 16, did you, know? you say? Yep. Something Six, like that. 16 candles. Oh. Oh, <laughs> times anyway, four. Six and age. a half, or a six inch border, which uh, adds 12 inches to your quilt, all told. And, it's um, 62 by 79. Yeah, and we told the quilting Which is a great, pattern. like, twin size. Well, and a wall size, honestly. You, you know, could hang it on I your porch. Um, and oh. honestly, you could put any word up there you wanted. And, you yeah. know, I mean, to celebrate 
any event in your life or any time mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, this would be kind of a fun retirement quilt. You know, I mean, it'd just be like, cool in Halloween, like Halloween like with all, all the, the flickering or like candles. like a like a Harry Potter with like the floating candles. Oh, you could yeah. actually put you something put them at the all, bottom. Yeah. That would be fun too. And anytime you do this black background on something that already has black, it, you know, you're never going to see the seams. And so these literally would look like they were floating if we moved them up and down, you know. But I, I just think this is so fun cool. how it came together. Um, I hope you guys get a chance to make it. This is the pattern. And anything else we forgot, Natalie? We good, you guys? I think we're great. Don't wait, we do we have a few more questions? A couple more questions. Let's so do that. Seeing the new rotary cutter you're using, <gasps> yes. Olga. The, the Olga. What do you love about Olga? How is she different from? Olga has a ball bearing. And Olga, so Olga's just smooth roll. The, yeah, it makes the it roll makes cutting. so smooth. It almost mm -hmm. makes it so that you don't have to push as hard when you're Yeah, when you're 100%. Cutting. And um, and I love the, because, you know, I've got a little bit of shoulder stuff happening, mm -hmm. you know, and I got some wrist stuff happening, but this has a ball bearing. So you're, there's not the pressure, you know, when you're cutting the other ones. And I found that I can cut quite a few. <laughs> Her layers. <laughs> My she layers can have layer increased. Layer up a little higher now, yeah, and it gives I do. a smooth, clean cut. I do love layering, and that Olga. Is true. Olga's a great Swedish name. I'm kind of For convinced sure. that most Swedes name their children when they're in labor. <laughs> you know, because it sounds like oh a, no, Olga. Here we go. You know? <laughs> But that makes me love her even more. We labored for her. That's true. That is true. <laughs> I really have been, we've there been working on this testing. rotary cutter for a long time. There's been a lot of testing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very cool. All right, what else? Another question is, you've used the orange peel template for the flames. Could you freehand those to give them a Oh, 100%. Absolutely. 100%, yeah. When you're doing applique, you can, you can freehand anything you want. And it would be really cool to do the flame and then do like a curly top uh -huh. or something like that. No, the other I'm, thing is, is I, I'm sure if you had like a Sizzix or an Accu cutter, you could just sure. roll they those might, through. They probably have a flame thing. Very Absolutely. easily. 100%. And then I also want to mention, we have the Celebrate Letters as a free PDF that you'll yes. be able to grab you can just download and download those. and use. Awesome. Very Where can nice. we find that? Is that going to be on? Will it be linked in the? Yes, it's going to be linked in the linked description in the tutorial yep. on the landing page. Yep. Very nice. So right okay. below this video that you're watching right now. All righty. Okay. It'll be linked right on here. Very cool. And the, that's so awesome. Does the Olga need special blades? No, she just takes a 45. Okay. And we've 45 got our Missouri millimeter. Star blades in here. Pretty universal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, what thing are you most excited to go to do today at Birthday <gasps> Basham Frank? Today. Quilting roulette. Quilting roulette. That's going to be so sure. much fun. I, it's a whole It feels new, like, yeah, it's, it's completely different, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to see how it goes. And I, We don't I actually hope know how fun. it's going to go, but we think it's going to be really fun. I know. They've hyped it up to me, so I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're very excited. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Either yes. way, we're going to create an amazing quilt, and it will be... And somebody will win it. One and raffle we'll finish and one. It and send it off to you. Yeah. It won't be finished today, but it will be finished. Eventually. Eventually. What else? Right. That's, I think, all the questions that have come in so far, but we just want to say we're going to see both of you a little bit later today yep. um, during the day, but I know you have awesome events on the street to go do, so we want to let okay. you we know. Have do some, we have some cake walks. walks. I have time with Jenny that's coming up time, next. Yep. And, uh, and we have um, the roulette today. Dinner with the Don'ts was so fun last night, that wasn't was it? That was fun. You yeah, know, I wish we had a building nice. where you could all come in. It's so hard because they sell out fast, and but it was it was really fun to have everybody up there. It's fun to Maybe see all the kids with their kids. Maybe one year we could do like kids. a live event, kind of like we do for the national auction. That would be kind of fun. Oh, yeah. Just an idea. Just a just thought. An idea. Just a thought. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We get an opinion. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. <laughs> could be fun, though. All Thank right. Thank you guys so much. Um, so this is Liz behind the camera. I'm going to be on set to host you the rest of the morning. We're going to be live until noon. And like I said, we're going to welcome both Jenny and Natalie back at different times today. So please stay tuned with us as we continue Birthday Bash live from Hamilton, Missouri. We just have one so more thing to say. Fun. Yes. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the celebration quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Happy quilting. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.